I help you? We're here for the wedding. Pardon? Hello, the wedding. Ice sculptures and a cake and a DJ. I'm sorry, what wedding? Mine. <laughs> so we're good to go. Kim signed the prenuptial. No, she didn't even ask for any changes. Yeah, the paperwork's on its way to you. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, I'll see you after the wedding. Goodbye. Certainly, Dad. Melinda's funeral? Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure Kelly was all right before I left. You could have skipped me for Kelly. Yeah, I don't think that would have been the best idea. Comforting your ex-wife? I figured getting out while the getting was good was a better idea. What happened? Well, I asked Kelly to marry me. She turned me down flat. I think Melinda would have loved the carnations. They're always her favorite. It was a very lovely service, I thought. I'm glad you decided to keep it just family. Yeah, my mother likes, um, well, has always liked things simple. Wish Kevin felt that way. I thought he'd come by La Boulet, but he went speeding off without saying a word. Oh, maybe that's him now. Please, no. Okay, Kelly. Um, you want to tell me what's going on with you and Kevin? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. I'm just sorry to hear you need legal help. What's going on? I've asked Charlie for a divorce. I was hoping you could handle it for me, please. Charlie, haven't you gotten into enough trouble hanging out with me? The baby's vitals were perfect all night. Oh, thank God. So what does this mean? Your niece can go home later today. Oh, you hear that, little girl? You're coming home. Her father is thrilled, too. You know, I was thinking we should get a cabinet for all the diapers and baby wipes, extra formula. Yeah, it's not exactly the media center we talked about, is it? The baby doesn't need digital sound. I know, I know. I'm just saying you didn't exactly sign on for a baby when you agreed to be my roommate. I can't wait. If this happens, I will be so happy. Hey, if... Gigi might get custody. Skylar, you need to be prepared for no, that. No, no, not today. Not today. I mean, that's the mantra, isn't it? One day at a time? Well, when Sierra gets released today... She's coming home with me. She looks so much better. Her face even looks like it filled out a little bit. Don't worry. When we get her home, we'll pack some weight on her. Oh, it'll be so good to see her out of that incubator. Shane cannot wait to show her that new nightlight. What? What if Skylar takes her home today? Feel better if we had gotten into that ethics hearing yesterday. How can they say that non-hospital staff can't come in? We had real evidence. Only what Skylar told us. Against his own best interest. He'd be toast right now. If he's cleared, it's gonna make it a lot harder to make my case for custody. It was weird sitting in that hearing like like a potted plant while, while Taya just lied for me. Did she outright lie? Well, she didn't let me tell the truth, that I didn't actually give the oxytocin to Stacy. Well, you couldn't say that without admitting that you took the drug in the first place. If Rex and Gigi had testified, you would have went there. Yeah, and instead I just I squeaked by on evasive maneuvers. Sky, do you know that you screwed up? Yeah, royally. Are you trying to make it right? Best I can. Do you want custody of your daughter? <laughs> Yeah, yes, that's why I sat there and I took it. I mean, I want to raise my daughter, and I can't do that from jail, so... It might not have to come to that. Okay, if the ethics panel knew that I, I stole the drugs, they would automatically assume that I gave it to Stacy. They can charge me for that, and the only person who knows that I didn't is Kim. And, and who knows if she'd clear me. <gasps> Look at you! Uh-uh. You're the one girl working that out. Me! Came. Like, yeah, usually I say no to the private jet <laughs> ride. <laughs> Are you really getting married mm -hmm. today? Uh, you okay, Nige? 
Um, Guys, meet my butler. This is Nigel. I am the Buchanan butler. Okay, we need some Bloody Marys and some brunch. Oh, and something vegan for Laudine. Oh, over it. Oh, okay. Size of bacon for everybody. <laughs> Will I have time before I'm required to make a sculpture? Hmm? I understand from this young woman. Leah. Yes, I'm sure. She tells me there's to be a wedding. Uh-huh, that's right. And when will the happy nuptials be? Today. Clinton tell you? No. Brunch. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's happening. But you're sure? Because if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me get this straight. So you asked Kelly to marry you right after her mother died. That's funny. I'm surprised she turned it in. Todd, would you just stay the hell out of this? Such a sad little buddy, aren't you? I mean, the woman cheated on you with your son, you still want her. Jesus can't, man, I'm kidding. God, how big a loser do you have to be to want her? Sweet that Kevin proposed, but I couldn't. Too much has happened. Oh. What? Oh, well, I'm just surprised. You know, you slept with his son, Duke. You gave his grandson, son, and you guys still stay together. I mean, what's bigger than that? Maybe the fact that you slept with Kevin. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You can't blame me for your problems with Kevin. You don't want to marry the guy. That's fine, but do not put that off on me. I hey, just dropped by to offer my condolences. I heard about your sister. Thank you. So what happened? Hmm? Apparently she had a heart attack. Only trouble is, she had absolutely no history of heart trouble. So you think... You think that Mitch did it? He could have. He's still threatening my girls. Okay, so what are you going to do? I'm not going to let him control me anymore. This has to end. I had no idea you and Charlie were having trouble. It's the end result of a lot of things that have happened. It's not about the shooting, right? Because you know that Charlie was aiming at Mitch. Oh, I know that. And no, it, it's not just that. What? After Jared died... Charlie shut me out of his life. Completely. He did not trust me to help him. He went out, he got a gun. He was going to murder someone. He put everything ahead of our marriage. Eli's on his way. He filed for temporary custody, so we can't take Sierra home. What did they say? He's hopeful. Skyler looks bad for all the right reasons. He tried to duck out being the father. He's in trouble with the hospital. But he's still the dad, so any order we get today will be temporary. There will still be a full-blown hearing. Well, it's like she's waving. It's so good to see her moving around. Isn't she gorgeous? She looks a little like you. You think? The mouth, especially. You mean big? <laughs> yeah, she'll grow into it. Thanks for being here, Rex. It means more to me than you'll ever know. That's where I want to be. With you. I missed you.